So today I have a new makeup look revolving around this palette that I got for Christmas. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and I was super excited to dig into this because uh, it just has all the warm nudes and it also has a variety of pink and red shades in here and I want to give a special shout out to my cousin Olivia for getting me this. This is honestly such a thoughtful gift. Um, I've been eyeing this for a really long time and I'm so glad that I have it in my possession now. The only thing is, is that since this is a velvet, I already got it dirty and I didn't mean to. I didn't think I had that much product on my fingers, but I guess I did. Um, but hopefully I don't get it too scruffed up anymore. But yes, if you wanna see how I got this look, then keep on watching. All right, all right, all right. So to start off this tutorial, we're gonna be taking the Soap & Glory One Heck of a Blot Primer all over the face. And then I'm going to do something a little bit different. I am actually taking the concealer under my foundation. This is the Revlon Color Stay Concealer. I'm using the color Light to highlight my under eyes, my nose, my forehead, and then with the color Medium, I'm putting that on my chin and my forehead. This is just going to cover up any excess redness. For some weird reason, my face has been really, really, red and the foundation that I'm using which is the uh, Makeup Forever HD foundation it's a very light coverage and I have to use three pumps for it unfortunately so um, that's why I decided to do the concealer under it um, it doesn't cover up much redness so that's that and then I'm going to bake my under eyes with the Cody Airspun powder I'm applying this with the beauty blender I really like this method um, to apply the powder because it's not as heavy for the brows I'm going to be using my brow pomade as usual this is in the color dark brown and it's by Anastasia I first line the bottom portion of my brows first and then I just go ahead line the top part and fill it in I wanted a more I guess medium coverage brow uh, not too sharp not too natural and, and then I'm going to fill in any other sparse areas with the brow powder it, this one's in the color ebony this one's also by Anastasia to set everything in I will be using the I'm not setting it I'm concealing I'm concealing with more concealer and then I will be setting everything with the NYX eyebrow mascara in the color espresso this has got to be one of my favorite eyebrow mascaras. It is very lightweight, but it does its job. Now for the eyes, we're gonna be taking the color Tempera and Golden Ochre, and this is just going to set our lids for the rest of the colors. The transition color that I'm choosing today is going to be the color called Burnt Orange. I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild blending brush for a lot of the blending. This is my go-to blending brush. Honestly, the best find in 2016 for me. And I'm just going to really wing this out. I'm going to deepen that up with the color called Relgar. And this is more of a actual orange color uh, we, <laughs> and I'm just going to apply that on top and as you can see I'm definitely winging this out for the lid color I'm going to be shading on the color called primavera this is a beautiful golden champagne golden color and I'm going to be applying that with a regular uh, shading brush Taking another color called Red Ochre, I'm going to be applying this with the same Wet n Wild brush, focusing this on the outer corner, trying to wing this out and fade the colors uh, Burnt Orange and Relgar as much as possible with this color. And then taking a fine tip uh, pencil brush, I'm going to be taking that same Red Ochre shade and kind of mimicking or trying to add some illusion that my lids are bigger than they actually are. I'm blending this out with a clean blending brush and then I'm going to pack on Primavera once again onto the lid since I blended it away. Um, this is just a really nice look. It would look better with a wing but I packed away my eyeliner so that's awkward. Um, I am going to be applying Primavera to the brow bone just a little bit and then I'm going to line my 
lower lash line with the same red ochre shade. I don't believe I added that much color back onto the brush. I think this was just the excess color. And then I'm going to take that color called Vermeer and this is gonna go right into the inner corner. This has more of a pink undertone in it, so it's a little bit different from Primavera. And this is just going to brighten up the eyes. So now we're gonna move on into the mascara. And this is the Maybelline the Falsies mascara. This is one of my oldie but a goodie mascaras. Um, now that I used it, I don't think I love it as much, sadly. Um, but it still works. It holds up my lashes very, very nice. It is very lightweight. So if you're looking for a lightweight mascara that's gonna stay on all day, this is the one for you. I decided to opt for a coal liner into my waterline top and bottom and then I'm going to be applying some Cocoa Lashes in the style 110 or 101. I, I believe it's 101. And then I'm just going to dust off that bake with a Real Techniques uh, multitask brush. And then I'm going to move on straight into bronzing the skin. And just like the tutorial with Elizabeth, I'm just going to take a glow kit and use the darkest shade. I think this is the That Glow Glow Kit and I'm taking the darkest shade. I don't have it with me so I'm not gonna say the names, but the bronzed color I'm going to take that all over my face and then I'm going to take the wet and wild apricot in the middle blush Apply that onto my cheeks for a nice subtle glow now with the actual highlight I'm going to go right back into the glow kit and I'm going to apply that light shade onto my cheekbones And this is honestly one of my favorite highlights uh, next to uh, The sweets glow kit. I think that one is pretty bomb too, but I just felt like it would overpower this whole look then I'm going to set my face with the H2O Oasis Mist and with the BH Cosmetics Lip Liner in Rogue, I'm going to be aligning my lips. And honestly, I think I did a really bad job because this is one of the worst lip applications of my life. Um, I did apply this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. I think this is in the color Veronica. Uh, I borrowed it from my sister. Thank you, Stephanie, so much. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty guys, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Hope you guys really enjoyed. I know this was a super quick and easy tutorial for you guys. I tried to switch it up by adding a bold lip with a bold eye, you know, just, I tried. And I also did not do a wing, um, partly because I have my bags packed for Bora Bora right now. Um, I should be in Bora Bora by the time this video goes up. We'll see. And Yes, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you have any other video suggestions, then please let me know. As always, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Peace out, Girl Scouts.